everybody. This is Debbie Levitt from Delta CX. And if you are a fan of Acuity like I am, then you know the bane of your existence is probably that when someone schedules an appointment with you, they're not invited to that calendar appointment. They're left to add it manually to their calendar. And sometimes they don't do it. And if you change it, their calendar manual appointment doesn't change with yours. So it's time to fix this. And I am using Zapier. And I'm going to walk you through this zap that I built um, and I would say it works most of the time um, and here's how you do it. So you have to start by having it find your new Acuity appointment. So make sure you are connected to the Acuity scheduling app and your trigger is new appointment. Now make sure in Zapier that you have connected your Acuity account. Mine is still called P-Type from another brand name that I use. Yours will be called whatever your calendar is called in Acuity, so make sure you have made that connection. Next, to customize the appointment, pick which of your uh, Acuity calendars you are looking into, and I have a sub-calendar called Delta CX inside of Acuity. And that's all you need to do so far. And then we need to find data. Here's where it gets funky. So I have a test uh, Acuity appointment I sent myself. Um, and so... This is where I am trying to just see if it can find the most recently added Acuity appointment. And so if yours is uh, correct, then what you should be able to do is say load more and you should be able to see something much fresher. I haven't done another test, so that is my freshest one. Uh, make, sure, make sure yours is showing up. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do, so that was the, so I already have these, you would be adding each of these. So you'd be adding an Acuity one, now you'd be adding a Google Calendar one. And what you're going to do with Google Calendar is, of course, choose the Google Calendar app, and the action is finding an event, because now we have to go into our Google Calendar and find the event that Acuity just created to make sure these match up. Uh, for my account, I am choosing the Google Calendar for my Delta CX account, so you will need to match all of yours up in Zapier. Uh, for customizing the event, the easiest way to do this is to search Acuity for the ID. Every appointment has a unique ID, so under Show All Options, you will see the ID down here, and you can just select that. Uh, you don't need to search for anything else. The, we're at the point here where we're just trying to find the right thing so we don't need a lot of criteria. That ID should do. And then here it's going to test that to see if it finds the matching calendar appointment in my Google, Google Calendar, which it did. And so I'm just going to move on. And now what we have to do is update the Google Calendar event so that we add the, uh, as an attendee or a guest, the person who made the appointment with us. But there's also a funky thing about Acuity, which you may have noticed that when it creates a Google Calendar event for you, nobody seems to be the organizer. Your email isn't even on it. It's just in your calendar. So we're going to kind of fix all of these things at once. So what uh, we need the Google Calendar app and we need the update event action. Which account? Same calendar. Debit Delta CX for me. Um, and now, what are we going to be looking for? So we need to say, hey, remember step two when you found this event? Yeah, that was great. So make sure you have as event the uh, step two event that we found. And I think I'm just using this here, this event, gobbledygook secret uh, ID number, uh, to identify it. And now we're saying, find that thing and change it. So the first thing I did was I made sure that from the original Google Calendar um, data that it had the beginning and not the pretty, uh, find the beginning and the end. So event begins in this field and for here event ends. Make sure you put those in because when I played with this before I did that, it actually changed the time of my uh, appointment, which would be bad. Um, so you need to make sure that's in there to make sure it maintains that original start and end time, then you need to do two things. You need to get in the attendee email and your email. And I think the order doesn't really matter, but here's where you'll find these. So for the creator email, I found this in the Google Calendar 
and it was over here, creator email. So the Google Calendar event knew that this email had created the event, but did not list it as the organizer. You can always, you can also use organizer email. And then for the second one, now we've got to dig into the acuity appointment and find our customer's email. And so that would be this field here. So we are technically making sure that both of these are invited to the uh, event. Since Google will recognize yours as the creator and the organizer, and you can use whichever one of these you like. Um, I did find that when I went back to my sample uh, one that it did show me as the organizer at the debit Delta CX address. Um, here I'm going to set a 15 minute reminder so that my customer should get a reminder in their Google Calendar and continue. And hopefully if all of this tests out for you, you have a zap that is ready to go. Uh, so I hope this has helped with a workaround for the extremely bizarre uh, non-feature where uh, it doesn't make any sense for people to, for Qity to not invite your uh, person to the calendar calendar event that they just created with you. Calendly and all of the other competitors do that. I'm not too sure why Acuity wouldn't do that, especially sin since it doesn't seem like a large amount of code or trouble to invite your attendee to the thing that they just created with you. But while Acuity has decided that is not on their to-do list and I have asked them about it and their response at the time was, feel free to take your business elsewhere. And my thought was, no, I really like you. I don't know why you're pushing me. So this workaround should work. It's obviously not for everybody since Zapier is um, not the easiest thing for people to, to use or learn, but hopefully the walkthrough has given you the confidence to try this yourself and hopefully you will um, fix Acuity. Thanks for hanging out and please subscribe to the Delta CX YouTube channel. We talk about CX and UX and this is just a random video that I've put up. Thanks.